I want to ask you a question. Do you think anyone has ever married an alcoholic or an addict who doesn't have a trauma history? Do you think there's ever anyone who married an alcoholic or an addict who wasn't so psychologically broken that they were bound to get involved with another broken person and then play out their brokenness together? Um, I would suggest to you that there are a lot of healthy, loving people who have got involved with addicts and alcoholics and then they get dragged into the muck and mire of what it's like to live with someone whose life is falling apart while you're desperately trying to keep that life alive. And as I said, if you are deeply loving and supportive of someone and they're failing, why wouldn't you do everything you can to try to make it better? And if it doesn't get better, you'll try harder. And if it doesn't get better, you'll try harder. Unfortunately, the harder you try, the crazier you look. And then you come into therapy with me and I say, yeah, you are kind of crazy. Let's look at your crazy. And you say, screw you. All of this, all this work I've done, this giving up my jobs, this lack of self-care, this working 24 seven and biting my nails off my fingers, that's all been because I live with this addicted person and I don't know how to make our lives better. I don't know how to protect my home or my children. And I'm working as fast as I can to make that better. You see, that is the reality of the partner of an addict. They're coming in crisis and they're saying to us, I have done everything I can to make this better and I haven't been able to. And you know, if you're, so if you're looking at the subtext of what's going on inside the head of a partner of an addict, it sounds something like this. I love this person, I've done everything I can, I can't seem to make it better. I'm in despair, I'm hopeless. I've tried everything I know how and somehow I just keep getting tireder and tireder and they keep drinking and they keep using and I, and, and I'm worried. I'm worried I'm going to lose my family. I'm worried I'm going to lose the people I love. I'm worried that, that there's probably something I could be doing to make this better and I just haven't figured it out yet. That is what's going on in the head of a partner when they walk in our office.